in the last video we created a controller to control our uh, joints in our uh, robot we written a yml file which contains different uh, controllers to control the robotic arm the end effector and the controller to uh, publish the states of the joints continuously if you haven't seen my last video to create this uh, controller please uh, watch it and then come to this video so uh, in this video we will create a launch file uh, which will be used to uh, load everything we have uh, uh, created since we started this series the uh, urdf file and the controller file we will launch uh, in the uh, gazebo the uh, launch file is used to load uh, everything you have uh, in a single uh, uh, terminal using single command if you don't use the uh, launch file you need to uh, spawn your uh, urdf file in the gazebo uh, using separate command you need to load your controllers and you need to load the uh, joint state publisher but using launch file you can do uh, everything in a single uh, terminal uh, our uh, package only contains three things but uh, once you uh, uh, start going deeper there are a lot of files generated lot of nodes generated so it will be a headache to load everything using a different command or different terminal so it is good to use launch file so first uh, we will uh, go to our uh, uh, catkin workspace and we will go into our uh, package it has a launch folder so i will just open a terminal so if you are if you are directly watching this video without seeing my previous video so this is the part of the series which is explaining how to uh, simulate a robot urda package which was generated using uh, solidworks if you haven't checked please check my previous videos so let's continue with our this topic so just do cd the home directory your workspace uh, name then the src your package name i only have one package so i will just press tab and the launch folder of your uh, package so we are in the launch folder of our package if i do ls or list file command it will show me two files like display.launch and the gazebo.launch these files are uh, created by default using the solidworks to urdf converter plugin the display.launch is used to load your uh, urdf file in the uh, gaze uh, sorry in the rvs and gazebo.launch is used to uh, load your urdf in the gazebo but uh, we need to we want to create a separate file which will load our uh, our robot in the gazebo as well as it will load the controllers we created for it so here you need to just uh, type a command touch the touch command is to create a new file you need to give the name like arm underscore urdf you can give any name uh, you want i will give it as arm underscore urdf dot launch the launch file have the extension launch dot launch and press enter if i do ls i will see a new file arm underscore urdf dot launch created in my folder so now i will type the command g edit and a and tab because there is only one file you are starting with a okay so you can directly go to the folder directory using the file manager go to launch folder and open the file anyhow i have uh, like i'm um, in terminal so i will press enter and it will open the file it will be a blank file so you need to come to this document again now uh, you need to uh, copy the whole thing from here to here control c make it sure you copied it you need to change these purple lines uh, shown here the rest it will be same purple lines you need to change here like you don't need to change anything but if your robot have a more joint you need to add uh, this part for each joint like minus j which states the uh, new joint uh, definition like you need to define that minus j the name of the joint if you have a name like wrist joint you can type here like wrist joint and the state at which you want to load it first time in the uh, environment 
so I will load every joint as a zero zero so just copy this come to the launch file here and just uh, paste it here so now it will look just uh, black lines so in gedator you need to go on here like a plain text edit uh, search here XML and select the XML now it will just uh, show some color scheme to just understand this so now I will start uh, properly indenting my code so I can read it properly so I will uh, like the arguments are the some variables defined in XML file for this launch file and I have one parameter which is uh, which contains the name of my URDF file and the package like the command is like name param na parameter name is robot description and here text file we are uh, the dollar this uh, is used to uh, this command is used to find the directory uh, find the package folder here you need to give the name of the, your package so what is the name of my package if I come here the folder this robot arm URDF is the my package name so I need to give here like uh, what underscore arm underscore urdf here i need to give the name of the urdf file which is available in the urdf folder of my uh, package this robot arm underscore urdf if you have exported it in using uh, solidworks the package name and the urdf name will be same also the robot name will also be same which is defined in the urdf file okay next is to uh, open the uh, launch uh, empty gazebo world so you don't need to change anything here just make sure it is on single line so what is just doing is it is uh, launching this empty world and it is launching this uh, it is uh, just uh, spawning this base link which we define like uh, the joint between the uh, uh, world and the base link so here we just uh, mentioned the base link so here again I will just uh, end this properly It is happening because we copied it from a PDF file and in, in PDF there is no indentation followed properly it's like when you copy it loses the indentation at the end of this uh, in the last video which I uh, created for this uh, you will find a whole package which I written I will add it uh, that Just do as I am doing. Just follow the indentation rule. Here is it is not uh, hardly to it is hard it is not necessary to follow the indentation, but just make sure the spaces like uh, suppose here after I ended like package pkg is equal to robot stage publisher. After that maintain a single uh, gap here. May not cause error if a multiple uh, gaps, but make sure to have this to avoid any unnecessary issues. Once you structured it like this. So like we change this robot arm URDF I will copy this because I again I need to add it uh, in another tax I changed my URDF file name which is uh, available in my URDF uh, this I will put as it is because it is taking a standard file available in the gazebo ROS plugin which is installed by default while you install the ROS and it will launch this empty world dot launch command then the next is like our uh, spawn model command so it will again anyhow it will come here because the it is not able to show this uh, here you can see here you need to give the uh, name of your robot which is defined in your URDF so where you can find this you open this URDF file uh, go to the top here this robot tag this is the your robot name you just need to copy this here sorry go here uh, arm.launch file and uh, replace this with your robot name so it appeared here again make sure here are only one gap is available because this line is uh, showing here but I am I have not in, uh, pressed enter it is just continued uh, because it can't show after like here my display ends 
it is just a new line i haven't added enter here i will provide you the uh, files uh, in the description as well so you will not uh, get in trouble make sure like here what it does i will explain what it does so here the rx are to the variables to define some x y z uh, any roll pitch y uh, positions then a parameter which contains the name of the package uh, which we want to find and the name of the urdf file uh, the, this uh, opens uh, already available uh, empty world in the standard gazebo ros plugin then it spawns a model then it is uh, done using a node the node name is uh, spawn urdf it is the part of gazebo ros plugin its type is a uh, spawn model you can name it anything here but this too will be as it is i will uh, may i will suggest you to keep this also as it is then in the arcs you can uh, you need to give like minus x it is not minus x this is hyphen x you need to after hyphen x you need to give the x position like uh, x y z coordinate where you want to spawn your model in the uh, world so currently we are launching it at 0 0 0 but you have multiple robots you need to launch them at different coordinates suitable coordinate system then uh, the uh, minus uh, y this one yeah so it is the yaw angle like roll pitch yaw the capital the small z is the position and capital y is the yaw then uh, then i haven't uh, passed the roll and pitch because uh, i don't uh, need anything then the uh, hyphen param means uh, we are i'm adding one parameter which i have defined here param and the name of the parameter which is available here then hyphen urdf hyphen model and i need to give the robot name which is available in my urdf here okay. robot arm urdf then space hyphen j and i need to give the uh, i need to add this part for each joint like hyphen j space joint name and the position like it will be radian for the revolute joint and in meters for the prismatic joint so i have only uh, revolute joint like i have uh, uh, this uh, joint uh, 1 to joint uh, 5 like the uh, 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 revolute joints but anyhow i am uh, going to launch every joint at 0 0 position so i have explained it uh, for everyone as 0 0 again if you have more than seven joints uh, then you can add here like uh, minus j sorry the hyphen j space joint underscore if i have eighth joint and the position 0, 0.0 you can have or if you have a angular joint like the uh, revolute joint 3.142 means uh, the uh, 180 degrees or if you may have like three meters or four meters like this okay so i have only have uh, seven joints and also make sure like if you want to use the model for uh, move it Move it only uh, uh, supports a six degree of freedom robotic arm so make sure your uh, robotic arm have uh, six joints and uh, end effector may have another joints but the main robot should have only six joints okay i may i don't know like uh, whether the newer versions are supporting more degrees of freedom but uh, as per my information i may be wrong but you can check but i think like move it only supports six degree of freedom robotic arm the kdl solver available in it so yeah so this is the spawn model node the next is uh load and launch joint trajectory okay here yeah here ross parameter i have defined like a uh, ross param the param and ross param are different i have defined one ross parameter this lo loads the uh, yml file in my parameter server okay what parameter server is you can check the uh, standard ros package as uh, standard ros uh, documents but i will uh, provide the link in the description but ros parameter server uh, basically uh, loads some uh, information which is available in this yml file so we are giving this again here you need to give your package name this one your package name slash config the uh, controller file that we written here come to config controller file 
I will just press rename. I will not rename it. I will just uh, copy its name. And you need to give this name here. This, uh, yeah, this is the name of that YML file. Make sure you give this name. Suppose anyone have used a different name as I did, you need to pass that name here. Okay. And next, once we done that, it will load it in parameter server. Then we need to uh, give the names of the controller. Here, the controller spawner is the node name, package is the controller manager, type is the spawner, respawn is set to false output like screen like it will show the uh, output generated from this node on this screen it will be uh, easy to understand whether your launch file is working correctly or not it will show which uh, joints uh, controller it loaded then arguments in that you need to give the names of the controller available in your uh, yml file separated by a space so if you again come to your joint trajectory yml i have three controllers here first is robot arm controller then a hand effector controller and the joint states controller. You need to give name of each after space. I first given the joint joint state controller, then robot arm controller and the end effect hand effect uh, hand uh, end effector controller. Okay, and then I have uh, spawned this robot name robot arm uh, robot state publisher PKG robot state publisher type robot state publisher you need to keep it as it is again if you have used the namespace in your uh, robot arm controller then you need to give that namespace uh, for this uh, robot state publisher as well as this uh, controller spawner so for the controller spawner you need to uh, click between after that this output uh, is equal to screen tag and give here ns is equal to colon uh, slash and uh, your uh, namespace my uh, robot uh, namespace uh, you do if you don't know about the uh, what is this uh, namespace you can check uh, the video available here uh, you will see how we return that controller and I explained in that what is that a uh, namespace so you need to add the namespace here we haven't used it so I will not add it here so I will remove it I mean I will make sure here is only one space again to add the uh, we can't add namespace attribute is not available for this node but here you have different command like uh, you need to go he come here first you need to remove this because we are it is another child tag you need to specify so we will uh, just uh, make sure again add the ending tag for this node and uh, come here uh, give uh, that uh, two tabs again the command is like remap remap miss I will tell you why it is called as remap so first we need to type like remap from is equal to uh, in quotes slash joint underscore states so where from we are taking this so if you go into you this uh, joint trajectory controller when you load this when you spawn this using this command this one so uh, it will create a namespace like uh, like it will create a topics like uh, slash robot arm controller slash end effector controller and slash joint state controller if you uh, contain uh, this in your uh, namespace then it will have the topic like slash namespace slash robot arm controller slash namespace slash hand effector controller and slash namespace slash for this it will create state joint state topic so again i will show you what is the namespace so namespace like my uh, robot you written if you have seen the last video two spaces uh, controller uh, one I will not add the child stack uh, tags for here like and controller uh, two. when I load this parameter file it will create the uh, topics like my robot sla slash my robot slash controller one slash my robot slash controller two so we need to like and the uh, so so what like uh, that topics are created so when you launch this here 
this will try to find the topic by default like slash join states so you need to uh, tell this node that uh, i have written a namespace and my uh, this topic it changed for me so we are uh, just remapping it from this join state to another value so write 2 is equal to quotes slash your namespace slash joint states the joint states will be remain as it is only this namespace will be your namespace it can be anything you written and uh, again after that end this no, uh, command the tag remap tag understood i hope you understood but in my case i haven't used any namespace i directly written it so i will just add here a ending tag and i'm done if you have created any mistake while writing this you will get an error while building your package or uh, if you launch this uh, launch file so what you need to keep in mind is like you need to change this robot arm name the package name the urdf file name uh, again here this robot arm name you need to add the joints in your robot their states again here the package name and the controller file yml file name and the controller names here uh, separated by space and here you need to gear, launch the robot state publisher the node you need to start and again if you have namespace you need to add it so we are done with the launch file in next video we will see how to launch this uh, file before we will build our catkin workspace we will start the raw score and launch this file so stay tuned and watch my next video thank you